I was happy to have the chance of working with Mr. Njomo Kenyatta and with the first lady, Mamangina Kenyatta, and also with their families. I came to know them well, and uh, more or less because I was also staying at State House. That's how I came to, to know and to, to work with them very closely. It was a great privilege uh, to work for Mr. Njomo Kenyatta. More importantly, it is because he interviewed me himself for the job. I found him a very um, patient person. Generally, he was a very disciplined individual. He was very particular about timekeeping, and uh, we all respected him for that. He was very concerned always with his family. He loved his family. He used to come at the office from 9 onwards, and by 3 4, he is gone. When the children come back from school, we will bring them over to him, and he will have time to meet them. During their birthdays, also, he will wait and be with them. And at the same time, over the weekend, they will go to Watundu and join him. People would have thought that uh, Mze was very serious, but there were soft moments with uh, Mze Kenyatta. During our trips down at the coast, we started having these traditional dancing in the evenings. And you know, those are the times when Muse was completely relaxed and you could see that he was comfortable. My leadership has not been to darkness and, 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 and death, but to light and prosperity. And that is, during my time, I have um, altogether uh, managed and built over 300 schools, paid and uh, controlled, financed by my people. And uh, that, that was not uh, putting my people or leading my people to darken, uh, to darkness and death. I feel his Harambe spirit meant well, that people work together, wherever you come from or whatever you are doing, let's help one another. And at the same time, he loved people to try, not to wait. He never liked giving things, hand out, no, he didn't believe. He believed in people earning their own living. You work hard for what I have. Many people might have misunderstood the president. Sometimes you hear these stories that he used to cane people, no. In fact, many times is when he had his Rungu with him, he'll say, "Way, well, you know, he lifted it just to, right? But he never struck anybody with his, his, his rungu. So he was very, very understanding. Most people really didn't know the inside of Mze because in public, he was the president and he carried himself with a dignity. Um, occasionally, of course, in public barazas, he would say some hard things, but generally he behaved as a president and uh, really address the issues which faced the nation. So people could see him as this very serious person, and that's why I'm saying even the ministers, when they came to him, they were a bit cautious. They didn't quite know what to say, 
there are those who are very close to him and uh, they, they really told him uh, <clears throat> what they thought. We must show the world that some of them have been wrong, that some of them have misunderstood us, and it's only by our action they will know that we mean business. And when now Muse was to be the president, they went to Jamuhuri Park. That's where the ceremony was performed. But I must say, even if that ceremony was that, that important, people were referring more to the Uhuru one. Because the Uhuru one, you know, is seeing the flag coming down, the bridge coming down, and the Kaja one going up, and it was raining, people didn't care less, and the fireworks, and the handing over, or the the, by the Queen to the President, to the Prime Minister, which was so exciting. The day he died, he was only with his family and maybe the doctors and dancers who were there. The way people were lining up to come and see him, lying there at State House. You could see that they, they knew him, they loved him, they, they miss him, they were missing him. But they realize now it has happened. I think Mzee's legacy was to see Kenyans working together because I think he believed that if we are divided, we would not progress. So I think that was his real desire. And I can see by and large, we are united as a nation. We do have these uh, differences, uh, but I wouldn't say they are a major hindrance uh, to our development. He wanted to see a Kenya where all of us look at ourselves as Kenyans, not as a Taita, Kikuyu, Luo, or whatever. So we are praying that all of us, as we grow up, we will start thinking ourselves as Kenyans.